Hey everyone, Dr. Mary here. For today's adventure, we're going to Missouri, specifically St. Charles, Missouri. In the St. Charles Borromeo Cemetery of today, in a section of very old stones, is a monument in memory of Jean Baptiste Point de Sable. I found this monument while looking for the grave of Louis Blanchet, who is featured in a previous episode. Intriguingly, I only found Blanchet's marker because it is adjacent to that of Point de Sable. When I read his monument, I knew we had to take a closer look. So what does this monument say? It has three sections. The first section reads, In memory of Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable, 1745-1818, Haitian Negro fur trader, first permanent Chicago settler. The next section reads, De Sable died 28th August, 1818, St. Charles, Missouri, and was buried in the original St. Charles Borromeo Cemetery, according to tradition. His remains were moved to the second Borromeo churchyard and finally to the present cemetery. The last section tells us about this memorial. Placed by the Illinois Sesquicentennial Commission, 1968. Wow, two founders, right next to each other. Louis Blanchett who was the first permanent non-native settler of what we now call St. Charles, and Point de Sable, who was the first permanent non-native settler of what we now know as Chicago. What is the rest of Point de Sable's story, and what was he doing in St. Charles? Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable was born in the West Indies. His father was French, and his mother was of African descent. Apparently, after living in areas in the north of North America, by the 1780s, he had settled in what is now Chicago, on the north bank of the Chicago River. He and his Potawatomi Indian wife, Kitahawa, Christianized to Catherine, raised a family and grew a business in trade. Point de Sable was literate, a good businessman, and apparently generally well regarded. In 1800, Point de Sable sold his holdings there, and by 1803 had moved to the area which is now St. Charles. We don't know why he and his family left the Chicago area, but in St. Charles, Point de Sable would operate a ferry across the Missouri River. Like Louis Blanchet, Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable was originally buried in the churchyard of the first St. Charles Borromeo Church near the corner of Main and Jackson Streets in St. Charles. The church moved to another location due to the expansion of the town, and the remains of both founders were relocated to the churchyard of the second church, about 1831. These were both translated to the current St. Charles Borromeo Cemetery about 1854. Point de Sable has a growing legacy. Among other things, in Chicago, Lakeshore Drive was renamed Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable Lakeshore Drive. Affiliated with the Smithsonian Institution is the de Sable Black History Museum and Education Center. In St. Charles, De Sable Park is situated on the north side in an area called Frenchtown. It's a peaceful, quiet place along the Katy Trail at the Missouri River's edge, quite appropriate for a man who once ran the ferry crossing the river. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay safe and travel well.